What's up guys, Sophie Sos here to show you how to make some quick and easy designer Jason masks. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is pencil in some scratch marks to give the mask more of a creepy look. The next thing I'm gonna do is use something called a rotary tool to sand down the area in the scratch marks. This will give the mask a more realistic, multi-dimensional scratch look. When using the rotary tool, simply apply pressure to the areas you're sanding and go over it a couple times until you start making a deep cut. Be careful not to sand it too deep as you could create a hole through the mask. Moving on, it's time to apply the Louis Vuitton stencil. If you guys want to make a homemade stencil, I have a few videos on how to do that, which I will link in the description below. After weeding the stencil, I'm going to apply some transfer tape, smooth out all air bubbles, and apply firm pressure, then peel the stencil from its backing. Now it's time to apply the stencil to the mask. The only problem is that when you hit the nose, the stencil won't be able to properly cover the rest of the mask without getting distorted. To fix this, we need to cut across the stencil where the nose is and place that piece just below the nose. This will allow the stencil to conform to the shape. Once we've done that, we're going to start slowly peeling the transfer tape off while securing any unwanted pieces from coming up. And one of the most important steps is securing the vinyl down with a heat gun to ensure it really suctions down to the surface. Alright, now that we have the vinyl down, I'm going to use my exacto knife to cut any pieces of the vinyl that are overlapping the red decals and the scratches. This will make it look like the pieces lay on top of the pattern. I'm also going to use some chili red mixed with a 50-50 ratio of Angelus Too Hard to brighten up the red decals around the mask. After that, I'm going to use the same chili red mix to apply some streaks of red in the scratch marks. Lastly, I'm going to add some blood splatters by dipping my brush in paint and using my finger to flick the splatters onto the mask. The closer you hold your brush, the easier it'll be to get the splatters onto the surface. Moving on to mask number two, this time we're starting out with an all white surface. The first thing we're gonna do is jump right into applying our vinyl pattern. I'm gonna follow the same steps as before, apply some transfer tape, smooth out all air bubbles, and peel it from its backing. When applying it to the mask, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, except this time I'm gonna cut both corners off and apply them below the nose in order to keep the pattern straight. Remove the transfer tape and use a heat gun to section down the vinyl. Vinyl down, now let's add some paint. Using a 50-50 ratio of flat black to Angela's Too Hard, I'm gonna freehand some blood drips below the eyes. Once I make the shape, I'm gonna fill them in with about five to six layers of paint. Next, I'm gonna use a 50-50 ratio of flat black and too thin to miss some shading onto the mask. Using a low pressure with your gun and holding it at a distance will make executing this effect a lot easier. And lastly, since we painted on both masks, we're going to load some Angelus matte finisher into our gun and spray two to three layers onto both surfaces. 